more than 20 interpreters are being trained to detect and understand potential trafficking in persons cases. Paul McAdam has the details. At the opening of the two-day exercise at the Police Officers Training Center, Eve Leary, Minister with Responsibility for Labor, Keith Scott, cited the need for stakeholders to be equipped to detect all signs of human trafficking. The training program, which is commencing this morning, is designed especially to bring you closer to your comrades who are in, together in this, in this fight and also to make sure that you even get closer to those to whom we are targeting. It is therefore absolutely necessary that all stakeholders clearly understand each other's role so that the objective of each other's message can be clearly understood and properly fulfilled. Coordinator of the Public Security Ministry's TIP Task Force, Oliver Prophet, explained that the training sessions will build a working relationship with bilingual interpreters. He notes it targets foreign embassies as well as missions, police ranks, and individual interpreters. And it's to equip interpreters or prospective interpreters with information regarding the nature of the crime or trafficking in persons, the function of the local task force and its member agencies, including non governmental organizations and the legal climate surrounding trafficking in persons in Guyana. According to the International Organization for Migration's Chief of Mission and Regional Coordinator Officer for the Caribbean, Robert Natilio, the challenge affects all races and genders. The police force's continued support was pledged by Commissioner Leslie James. I would urge all participants to pay rapt attention because you're being trained or exposed to modules relating to interpreter efforts or to interpret foreign language of the victims who might have been ensnared in these efforts to enslave them. Paul McCallum for InfoHub.